we are going to discuss about JSP. Okay. So generally JSP definition is what? JSP means it's a Java server pages. And JSPs will execute on server, not on browser. Okay. So to make dynamic web pages, you can use JavaScript. And as well as you can use JSPs also. Okay. JavaScript generally it will execute on browser. Means on client mission. JSPs will execute on server. Their output will reflect on browser. Getting? To make dynamic web pages, we have to use this JSP page. The use use case for what we need to use this JSPs to generate dynamic pages. Okay, so here in your browser, let's say if you required some date here, dynamically your system date if you want to display here, dynamically system date if you want to display here. Using JavaScript you can display and as well as using JSP also you can display. Then you can observe. In case if it is JavaScript, let's say if it is browser, using JavaScript if you try to display date here, JavaScript where it will execute on browser machine. Let's say if this browser is there on machine A, which mission date it will display here? A mission date. If you display date here using JavaScript, JavaScript date if you display here, JavaScript date if you display here, your A mission date it will display. Let's say if your A mission date if it is 22nd 06 2015, this date it will display here. And by using JSPs also you can display the date. Okay, so from where JSPs we have to load? Server machine server mission from server you have to load your JSP page okay if you have a JSP page here in that JSP page if you are displaying some date here Java date some Java date functions if you have in your JSP page actual JSP pages will execute on server and that output only it will display on client side okay whenever you try to load this JSP page here and if this system date if it is, if server date if it is 23rd 06-2015, which date is it will display if you go through JSP, if you use JavaScript, this date it will display here. So the date it will display here, 22 06-2015, using JavaScript if you write code. But instead of using JavaScript, if you load your dynamic date from JSP page, then your server date it will display here. So then what you can understand? If it is JSP, JSP will execute on server. JavaScript will execute on client. In interviews, you will get first question. JSP is client side execution technology or server side execution? It will execute on server. Okay. Yeah. So to run JSPs, you require a special container here. For running JSPs, you require a container. Special container you require here, similar like your servlets. To execute servlets, we require a servlet container. In the same way, to execute JSPs, you require a JSP container. A JSP engine you require here. Okay, who will provide the JSP engines? Your <laughs> web servers will provide, application servers also will provide. Okay, along with your servlet container, they will provide JSP container also along with your servlet container they will provide JSP container also to execute JSPs to prepare dynamic JSP pages to prepare dynamic JSP pages to prepare dynamic pages you required a server which server you required JSP container you required JSP container you required using this JSP container you can execute your JSP pages to run JSP pages you required a JSP container. So your JSP container responsibility is what? When I try to load a servlet, we know the servlet container responsibilities. It will create a servlet object, then it will call lifecycle methods. Right. And we should configure our servlet in web.xml file. In case if you have any JSP page, 
how that JSP page will execute by using your JSP container. First, your JSP container will convert JSP first step. If you load your JSP into JSP container, JSP container first it will convert your file. Converts, converts. Second step, it will converts to servlet. Your JSP page it will convert like a servlet Java class. Okay, it will generate a JSP underscore servlet dot Java file it will generate. Your JSP page content whatever the code you have here. In your JSP page you can write Java code. Under JSP pages what we can write? Under servlet what we can write? Under servlet do get method can we write HTML code? Under servlet out dot println. Under out dot println we can write HTML code also right? So, in case of servlet, under servlet you can write Java code along with Java code, some, some HTML output code also you can write. In the same way, coming to this JSP pages, under JSP pages what you can write? Along with your HTML code you can write Java code. So, when you write Java code along with your HTML code, it will convert your code into servlet. So, then what it will do here? HTML code it will keep it on out.println statements and Java code it will store it on your do get method or init method or under service methods. Okay. So, if you write any code here, which code you can write? Using JSP pages, which code you can write? Under JSP, you can write HTML code along with your Java code. You can combine your HTML code along with your Java code. You can write Java also. Under JSP pages, you can write Java code also. Java code is dynamic code, right? So, Java will give us dynamic data and HTML will give us static data. Along with your static data, if you required any dynamic fields, that dynamic fields you can generate by using Java. See, so, okay, anyways, using your JSP pages, you can combine HTML and Java code here. So, if you write HTML and Java code inside JSP pages, when you try to load your JSP page into JSP container, first your container will convert your JSP page into servlet. Once after converting into servlet, what it will do? <coughs> it's a Java class. So, Java class, what it need to do? Compile. It will compile this Java source. It will compile your Java source. Finally, it will generate what? Dot class file bytecode. Okay. Finally, it will generate a dot class file. For your JSP page, it will generate your JSP servlet dot class file in that servlet dot class file which code i mean while generating this source which code it will store here whatever the code you are writing here the same code it will place here okay html code is static code java code is dynamic code where it will put that java code it depends on your declarations how many parts we have in servlet what are those servlet while writing servlet class servlet my servlet extends from http servlet if i extend my servlet class from http servlet here we have one init method here we have one service or do get do post methods okay service method and we have one destroy method okay so when I write a code inside JSP page, where that code it will place? Getting? If I write a JSP page here along with HTML and Java code, where that code it will place while generating Java source? It will generate a servlet file, right? So inside that servlet file, where exactly this code it will place? Where HTML code it will place? Where Java code it will place? Okay. So inside JSP, actually there are again three parts here. We have multiple tags inside JSP. While writing your code, if you use declaration tag, there is one tag declaration. Using this declaration tag, you can call this one as a declaration tag. Using this declaration tag, if you write any code here, which code we should write? The tag is declaration tag. Declaration means what? Variable declaration we used to do in our classes, right? Variables declaration. In case, while writing servlet, while you are writing servlet, under servlet, if you required any variable, we can declare that variable here, right? Int a equal to 10, int b equal to 
20 like this we can declare right so this is the declaration part for surlet okay so when you want to declare some data in your surlet finally it is going to generate a surlet so in this generated surlet i want to keep some declaration data so where i need to put the declaration data not I, I mean i should not write this java class i should write jsp page that one will compile to this servlet so while compiling it to servlet i mean while converting it into servlet in this servlet i required some initialization so where i should write that initialization in my jsp page i should write under i mean declaration where i should write that declarations under declaration tag okay the tag name it is declaration tag declaration tag under this declaration if you write anything it is similar like your servlet declaration okay variable declaration you can do by using this declaration tag and if you want to write anything under init method then which tag i should use here if you want to write anything under init method again you should use declaration underscore jsp init under declaration tag only same tag declaration tag only under declaration tag only if you open declaration along with jsp in it and if you write any code here that code it will place while converting into surlet this code it will place into init method and if you want to write anything under service method then they are given one tag you can use expression tag the tag name is sorry scriptlet scriptlet not surlet it is a scriptlet tag so using this scriptlet tag if you write anything here using this scriptlet tag if you write anything here directly scriptlet code it will place into service method if you write any java code here that code it will place here Okay. And if you want to write destroy method, similar like your JSP in it, you can write JSP destroy. <coughs> and you can write destroy code here. So this is similar to this. Sorry. This is similar to init method. This is similar to service. And this is similar to your destroy method. Okay, if you write any code under JSP init, it will place under init method. If you place any code under scriptlet, it will place under service method. If you place anything under JSP destroy, it will place that code under destroy method. And one more thing, in my JSP page, I can write HTML code also, right? So which code I should write here? Under scriptlet or under declaration tags, which code I should write here? Java code java code i need i need to write here along with my java code i can write outside the tags i mean inside tags you need to write java, java code then outside this tags you can write html code so where that html code it will place html content it will keep it on your out dot println <coughs> using out dot println it will place your complete html code in case if you have any html content in your jsp page this html content it will store under out dot print ln. and any output if you required here getting this code is for generating init method this code is for generating service method this code is for generating destroy method in case from your service method if you want to print anything dynamic outputs if you want to print something some data you want to print so then you can use out dot print ln here if you write out dot print ln the same statement again it will place here out dot print ln getting so for printing outputs which attribute we should use which variable we should use in our scriptlet if it is a scriptlet for printing output you can use out dot print ln Here, if you print anything, directly it will print it on like your browser. Okay. Anyways, while converting, it will place that code into again output only. On your servlet output, it will keep. Okay. So, what is this out? 
out reference is what is it object reference yes okay out is a object reference print writer reference generally in surlet what we used to do print writer out equal to response dot get writer we used to write right so here you no need to generate that kind of print writer why because just if you use out dot println finally it is going to convert into surlet right while generating this surlet inside this surlet it will generate one out object generally how we are writing print writer in the same way one print writer object it will create here using that print writer out reference it will print your output generally when you use out dot print align here this out object where exactly it will available inside not i mean not inside js page out reference just they given here but finally where exactly this out reference available under surlet okay finally it will generate a surlet inside surlet it will generate one print writer object so using that object reference we are going to print here understanding here what happening exactly out reference it will available it will make available to us while writing jsp code you can use out reference here out dot println code you can write here but is it out reference exactly is there inside jsp page no just they are making available to us finally the jsp converting into inside surlet service method they are making available out reference to us they are creating a print writer object here they will create one print writer out equal to response dot get writer finally my code going to store here only right so the same code it will place here out dot print ln that hello it will place here then what happens this one will point which reference this reference only right using this reference it will execute so how many kind of i mean how many this kind of references we have here nine built in objects we have nine references it will make available in jsp page finally while converting that code into servlet actual references it will create under your service method 